guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Making a Monday project, and today we are making this really cute honeycomb bee card. Isn't that fun? There's the inside there. We're going to be using the marker tool to add the greeting and also to decorate the envelope. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. All right, at the computer, you want to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. When you see your name at the very top, that verifies that you were logged in. On this page, you want to scroll down until you see the What's New for Cricut Access. Click on View All. In the search box in the upper right-hand corner, type in the word B. Click on Enter. Our B card pops up. It is called the Honeycomb and B card. Click on that. This will bring up the preview window. Bottom right, click on Customize. So now we have our card base and the envelope. I'm going to move my envelope out of the way. I also want to change the color of this and make it be the same dark yellow on my card. Right hand side toolbar, click on color sync. We can see all of our pieces here. I'm going to click on my envelope and hold it down and drag it to that yellow layer. And we see that change. We can move our envelope out of the way for now. On the card base, you want to right click on that and choose ungroup. I'm going to take my B pieces off. And also the honeycomb layer. Now this is my card base. I do want to change the color of this and make it be white. So I have this piece selected. Right hand side toolbar, click on layers. Now whatever you have selected on your mat here will be highlighted in your layers panel making it easier to find. I can see here I'm going to click on that and make it be white. Now because I am using white for my cardstock base, I do want to create a colored mat for the inside. Left hand side toolbar, click on shape, click on circle. And I want the circle here to be the same color green that's on my B. So I'm going to go back to my right hand side toolbar, click on color sync, click on the black layer and drag it down to the green. Now I want to resize it to fit inside my circle here. Have it selected. Top toolbar where the size is. Leave the lock locked. Make the width be 4.6. Click on enter. I also want to create a white mat to go on top of my green layer. So I'm going to right click on my green and choose duplicate. I have that part selected, right hand side toolbar again, back to my layers tab. I can see it here. I'm going to click on that and make it be white. And also resize it to where it's going to fit just inside my green layer. Back up top to the toolbar. I'm going to change the size or the width of this one to make it be 4.3 again, leaving that lock locked. Now they can see there everything lines up nicely. I'm going to move all that out of the way. We're done with all them pieces. I'm going to work with the envelope and the B. So we have all of our B parts here are green, our yellow, and our black. I'm going to take the green one and move that down. We don't need that one. So I have the black part and the yellow part. I'm going to right click on the black and choose duplicate. Move the copy down. Right click on the yellow, choose duplicate, and move one of those down. Now I only want one B, so if I right click on that, you can see there is no ungroup option. So we need to hide contour the pieces we don't want. I'm going to hide these two pieces here and leave the top right one, the one I want to cut. So I'm going to click on that one, bottom right hand corner, click on contour. Now just click on the pieces you want to hide. In my case, they are the bottom two. And then click on the X. Now I just have the one part here. Do the same for the yellow layer, bottom right again. Click on contour and I'm going to click on the ones I don't want and close that out. I just do that because they're, these are going the same direction, making them easier to line up. I'm going to take the black layer, line it on top of the yellow one the best I can. When you're happy with that, take your left mouse button across the B, right click on that and choose group. Now we have one B versus the three. And I made a copy because we still need all these parts to finish off our card. I just want to use this one for my envelope. I do want to make this be a writing file versus having it cut out. Have it selected. Right hand side toolbar again under layers, you'll see where it is. I'm going to click on both parts and change that from cut to write. Same for the yellow one. All right, so we are good with that one. Now I want to attach this to my envelope. Now if you look at the envelope here, the way it is in design space, the right hand side is larger than the left hand side, that therefore this is the bottom part. So when I bring my B over on this part of my card or the envelope itself, so that my, 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 my B will be on the bottom of the envelope. But before I attach the B there, I want to detach the scar marks. I can't attach an image to another image if there's already something attached to it. And in this case, the score marks are attached to the envelope. So you want to right click on your envelope and choose detach. 
Now when you do that, you want to be very careful not to move the envelope around. When you see that I do that, the score marks don't come with it. So I'm going to go back up top and choose Undo. I'm going to click on my B over here, right click and choose Move to Front. Now I can drag him over where I want him to go on my envelope. And again, I want to put him here so it's on the bottom part of my envelope. Just rotate him a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. All right, when you're happy with the way that looks, go to take your left mouse button across the envelope, the score marks, and the B. Right click on that and choose Attach. Now the score marks are back on our envelope as well as the marker tool for the B. All right, we can move that off to the side now. I'm going to go back in and grab my card base and that yellow layer, my honeycomb piece, and bring that back up. And also this part here, just to give me an alignment where they're going to go. Now I want to create a greeting for the front of our card. Left-hand side toolbar again, click on Shape, click on Square, have the square selected, top toolbar again, and this time you want to unlock the lock, make the width be 3 inches, and the height is going to be 1. I'm going to right-click on my black layer, choose Duplicate, have it selected. Again, on my Layers tab on the right, click on that color and make it be a white color. And you want to make this piece be smaller than the black, so I have my white selected. Again, the top toolbar, unlock that lock, make the width be 2.8, and the height is going to be 0.8. Click on Enter. Now you'll see there they're going to line up nicely together. Now I do want to add text to my white piece. Left-hand side toolbar, click on the text box. I'm going to type in the word just. Click on Enter, the word B, a dash mark, and the word cause. Have your text selected. Top toolbar under alignment, I'm going to click on that and choose center. Now I want to make this be a writing file versus a cutting file. So back up top and click where it says font. Next to the search box, click on filter and choose writing. And the font I chose for this one is called Bicycle for Two. I'm going to scroll down to find that one. You can also type it in the search box. It is right there. Again, it's called Bicycle for Two. You'll see that change in a moment. Now I'm going to resize it to fit on my white. I'm going to use the handles here to make it smaller. Bring this down some. Bring this over. I'm going to unlock my log and just kind of skew it a little bit to where it's going to fit on inside that white piece there. All right, when you're happy with that, I'm going to take your left mouse button across both pieces. Again, top toolbar, click on Align. I'm going to click on Center. Highlight them both again, right click, and choose Attach. All right, upper right hand corner, go ahead and click on Make It. <coughs> so we have our white here, a black color there, a black color there, a yellow color here for envelope, the same color yellow here for our bees. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Cancel and kind of change our mats up a little bit. First off, go to your color sync window on the right. We see our black layer and our gray layer. I want them both to be black. So I'm going to just drag one to the, next, to the other one so they're the same color. Now with the envelope, I'm going to drag everything out of my way again. Need just that part here. Bring that down. And bring my envelope back over. And grab the more guys again. If you notice on our, on our mat preview page, it has, even though they're the same color, it has them cutting out on a different mat because the way these are attached. So what you want to do is bring your envelope down a little bit, move these bees above the envelope a little bit, making sure they're not touching the envelope itself. Then take your left mouse button across the envelope and the, the bee parts there. Right click and choose attach. When you do that, they're going to cut out the exact way we have them here because we attach them. So if you go back up top under make it, you can see now we have that same white layer which you could use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Then we have our black piece here. This one we did kind of change, it's, it's a little bit bigger. I'm going to click on cancel and undo that. I'm going to click on detach. Make that go a little bit closer in. If you need to rotate a little bit, you can do that. Get as close to your envelope as you can without going on the envelope. And let's go back and try that again by selecting them all. Again, click attach. Go back, click on make it. Let's go back and check that mat now. So now we have our envelope and the bees on the same mat. That'll be my darker color, my lighter yellow here for the front of our card, and the green layer for the inside of the card. And that is it. Bottom right, I'm going to go, go ahead and click on continue, cut these out with the table, and put our card together. 
Alright guys, we're back. Everything is cut out. Now, when you cut out this honeycomb piece, you want to go in and keep some of them pieces there. We're going to use that for the inside of the card. Alright, so we're first going to go ahead and take our card and just fold that in half. Open it up. Take our green layer that we cut out. I'm using art glitter glue. I get this from May May Made It. Put some glue on that one and layer the inside there. And take our white and do the same thing. So the green we're pulling from the front of the card and the, and the white is a place to write our greeting. Get that more centered in there. There we go. Now just take a few of those little honeycombs. I think I used three on my first card. Just kind of put them on the inside somewhere. I'm going to use, I guess I'm going to use three of them. Okay, so the inside of the card is done. Isn't that cute? All right, let's work on the outside. We're going to take this piece. I'm going to use my art glitter glue on this guy. I'm going to go around it pretty heavily because this glue does dry really, really quick. And I find if I do a little bit thicker of a layer, it gives me a little more time to work with. You just kind of go over that solid area where the bees are going to go. And just like a few dots here and there, just to kind of hold that down a little bit. Okay, take this and open that up, and then line it up here. Take a little of my finger. I'm gonna flip it over that way, and just kind of give it a press, like that. Okay, super cute. Love that. Now. Let's work on our bees. We have our yellow layers here and our black layers to go on top of those. This is a cute card. Now, I do apologize for design space being a little bit lengthy today, but I want to make sure I explain to you everything I did as far as how I did it and why I did it. Yeah, but I said before, design, the Make It Now part of um, Design Space is my favorite spot. I mean, you could just find so many ideas there, and then when you see one you like, go in there and look at it. See if you can make it your own. Put your own little twist on it. Oops. Get that uh, lined up. If you want to, you can always use a glitter cardstock for the wing part of the bee. Now let's grab those green layers. Okay, so the video today was a tad bit long. I have another video coming up probably, what's today, Monday? Um, let me see, maybe either, probably tomorrow at some point. Just to talk to you guys about, you know, just general life stuff, you know. Um, I share quite a few things with you guys on my channel, and I want to talk to you guys about moving. Because that's like in the back of my mind. Actually, it's been on my mind for a little while. And um, hubby's as well. And we're just not sure in what direction we should go. Or if, should we, or if we should go. You know, we're kind of like at that point. Like, is it worth it to go? Not, you know. So I do plan on doing a video tomorrow to talk to you guys about that and hopefully you guys can give me your advice on it. You know, your advice is appreciated, but obviously we're still going to do what we want to do. But, you know, it's nice to hear other people's opinions on it, like they're, like your point of view. You know, like you might make sense in a way that I'm thinking, okay, now that, now that makes sense, you know. So, that'll be tomorrow. I'll fill in with that little wing to make sure it's lined up right. I love the colors. You know, yellow, what's not to like about yellow, you know? Oh, my man Kyle Bush won um, last night on NASCAR. Super excited about that. It's his third win, I think, in eight races, I believe. 
he was off to a slow start. I was like, I might have to like another driver, but he came with a row and he won. Really happy about that. All right, they're done. Now I'm going to put on the part here. And again, I'm just doing like a little dollop of glue. You don't need a whole lot on here. Just enough to make it stay down. I'm going to put that on the belly. That one. And I got a little glue smudge on that one. That's okay. You could always go in there with a black marker too and just draw black lines. And Dinah has to go O-U-T. She's by my door looking at me. Like, Mommy, you're in there talking. I need to go pee. Get it moving. Alright, we got that one done. And our other one. Okay, our last guy. They're pretty easy to go on there. Alright, so we got that done. Now we're going to put them on our card. You can kind of see where they go here. What I'm going to do though is kind of bend the wings up a little bit just to give the be a little bit of light. I'm going to use my glue dots only for a little bit of dimension. If I use just regular liquid glue, they're going to lay flat. This way it just gives them a little bit of lift without being as thick as a regular um, dimensional would be. Okay, so there's that one. Same for this one. Bend that up and bend that one up. I'm doing two glue dots, one on the head area and then one on the body. Put that one there. Pick this guy up. Again, bend the wings out a little bit. Okay, and he is going to go right there. You'll see where they go. Okay, isn't that cute so far? All right, now we're going to do our greeting. Which says just because if you had of um if you had Maymay stamp the bee's knees you could certainly use that the greetings on that one there's lots of really fun ones there's also a bee trail on that one too we're gonna but we're gonna go ahead and draw our bee trail on there I right, got that done let's go ahead and add a few I'm just gonna add a foam tape otherwise I'll be here all day with that stuff let me grab that let me grab my Scissors. I'm using the Tim Holtz scissors. I don't like using my good scissors on sticky stuff, otherwise my scissors get all gunked up. Then I wonder and complain why they don't cut, right? All right. Give it a squish. Take the backing off. Okay. And that one there. Get our card opens up that way, and I'm going to kind of put these behind the B. So I'm going to lift up his wings up a little bit, put that down there, and I think I'm going to kind of go on a little bit of an angle so it's not so straight, just to be a little bit silly. They're cute. All right, now we have the envelope. So I use the Cricut marker to draw that. So I'm going to use the Cricut marker again to just kind of draw, you know, lines. A little bee trail. Nothing fancy, just a few dots. The nice thing is a bee flying around, so you don't need to be straight about it. I'm going to go a little bit bigger on this one over here. And then come down like that. Okay, super simple. Alright. Grab my bone folder up here. Again, that was the bottom part. You can see here how that half circle is bigger. My first one, I did backwards. I mean, it's still just as cute, it's just not on the bottom. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, here's one I did a, a, a little while ago. Let's see, it opens up like that. So either way. All right, so this is the bottom. I'm gonna close this up, I'm gonna put glue around the sides here just a little bit and about up to here probably. Oh, 
Don't go all the way out to the edge like I just did. Okay, so we have that done. So there's a really fun envelope and our V card. Isn't that fun? Super cute, like I said, pretty easy to do as well. I love that color yellow and I love the inside just with that little bit of green and yellow kind of pulls it all together. And this fits in your envelope. I always put the design part in first. Fits in there nicely, you can mail it off. Super cute. All right guys, there you have it. Today's Make It No Monday project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.